hello again we're still dealing with um, OCaml file input and output last time we spoke about how we can open uh, a file for input or output for reading or writing we did a simple operation of reading to a file and uh, I'm sorry writing to a file and then reading from there uh, in this video I'm going to show you um, a small function for reading a whole file line by line remember when we mentioned open uh, opening an open channel and we mentioned that if we read the file line by line we can read it and the last thing of the file when we reach the end of the file it usually it, thro it actually throws um, an end of file exception this is exactly what we're going to do here if you look at this function here so this is source code I'm going to compile it but what I have is I have a function I named it read file it receives um, a variable called file name in fact let me just add some comments here so we can practice more than one thing at the same time so this this is to have comments usually normal comments but if you had to want to uh, use the OCaml documentation comments this is what they look like and then you say for example um, you just provide a normal description basically we'll, we'll maybe come come to that in a coming video but function to read a file line by line and then we just provide a file name which is a text um, I'm sorry in a string and then what we do is in as we did in, as we did in the last video let in channel open in that's the function we can open we can use to open a channel for reading a file we give it the file name a fully qualified file name as a string and then what we do here is we have an infinite loop while true do done so that's a while loop we studied before and what we do here is we do let line equals input line so an input line is a function for module pervasive that reads one line at a time from an input channel and if we repeat the function then it moves on to the next line and the next line and the next line and so forth so what, what I do here is I read one line print end line print the line out and then go back and loop again and keep reading now this will continue forever until it reaches the end of file uh, until it, it actually throws an end of file exception and that's what I'm doing here I'm putting it in, inside a try with um, block so as soon as it, it reaches the end of file it just exits basically it throws the exception and it exits by just closing the input channel I hope that makes sense so try with the reading and the printing out happens inside the try if the end of file exception is thrown then we just close the channel and we exit and then we have a small function called my fun here just we want to call it when we execute f equals file.ml so this file I named it file.ml and here I'm just using the same file so I can pass it's a, uh, it's a <coughs> the file name as a string in a variable called f and I pass it to my read file function and see what happens and here I just call my fun so this is where actually I s this is the starting point for executing the program so let me save that and then go to my terminal um, compile the file as we learned before and then just call it and as, as you can see here it reads itself it reads the source file the file.ml file line by line and prints it out and then it exits when it reaches the end of file because this exception is actually thrown and dealt with appropriately here as you can see now there are many many more interesting things that you can do if we go back to the um, to the to the module system to the modules in OCaml if you remember I I still have module pervasives open here but if we go back um, when we whenever we deal with files mainly we deal with uh, text yes so for text we have many many interesting things for example as long as we're dealing with text ie strings then we can use things from the string class uh, uh, module or from the str module str module quite interesting it has regular expressions and high level string processing this is very useful for example for searching for applying regular expressions to find patterns in, in, in text 
um, you have to do, to do string matching to search a string, search forward, search backward, provide a regular expression um, and do string matching as we said before and then match the beginning of a string, the end of a string this is a very very interesting module with very very interesting functions inside it please have a look to replace um, uh, parts of strings really really interesting the split function is very interesting for example very useful split delimiter similar to what we learned in Java if you know Java before or any other, fun uh, any other functions anyway this is a quite interesting uh, module to, to know about the str module here even it gives us the ability to sub to extract substrings from strings another very nice module is the unix module you know the sys module also is very interesting we can uh, execute system functions and then STUV, the unix also is a very very interesting module to learn about so we can use we can deal with processing at system level which is quite powerful actually in OCaml um, um, actually let's try and use something from the module uh, str string for regular expressions so let's for example um, let's for example use regular expressions to maybe um, we spoke about string matching we spoke about um <coughs> Let's let's let, yeah let's let's modify a string. Yes, let's modify a string, and see how we can do that using regular expressions. So this is our file, uh, our source file, the one we've been using before. If you remember, we compiled it nicely. Just click the screen; it only just reads itself basically. It reads itself, and then we just prints itself out. But what we want to do now is. Um, we want to use a regular expression as we said to um, modify a string yes to repl uh, replace a word inside um, one string so let's for example declare a variable of type string let's for example my let's say for example original string equals my name is Nuruddin. Yes, and then using the regular expressions, what we want to do is we want to replace, um, for example, the word Nuruddin with another word. So if you if you look at this function here in module str global replace yes what it does is um, returns so it takes regular expression um, and two strings returns a string identical to s so this is my input string except that all the substrings of s that match the regular expression have been replaced by the template so basically anything that matches the template matches the template using this regular expression will be replaced here anything that matches that in s will be replaced as the explanation says so have a look global string takes regular expression and a template string and this uh, s is the original string and of course it returns a string as so it returns a new string because as you know if we declare string like this we won't be able to actually modify it um, yet yeah, another look and have a look at the way I am going to do it so what we want to do is let result equals and that function if you remember this function here global string is inside module str so global string and then we need to give it a regular expression if you remember so what we say is um, str dot reg exp is it reg exp let's have a look 
yes reg exp a reg exp needs a string to match so it's actually Nuruddin and there's a little typo here and then the next argument would be um, what we want to put instead of Nuruddin which is the template here the template here so it's this string here what we want to put instead of this string matched by the um, regular expression let's say for example instead of Nordian let, let's say yeah Jack and then we give it the original string the one which we want to check and maybe try to modify so let me for example just cancel these and then print the new string and line print result save now if I try to compile it will complain because it doesn't know what basically we need to tell OCaml where to find str yes for two modules str and unix we need to explicitly tell OCaml where to find them and we tell it str.cma likewise if we use the module unix then please remember to do unix.cma as you can see here str.cma compile Um, what the function is actually called global replace not global string yes compile again it works nicely and then if I run it you see my name is Jack what what it did is it matched Nuruddin in this string here and replaced it with Jack and then in the original string and then returned a new string called result as you can see and it's printing out that result as you can see Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.